here it is nambu type 14 first test firing with uh reloads i got two rounds of uh 3.7 gram loads and two rounds of is that 3.8 i also got some four grain charge i'm gonna try those after but i'm gonna try these two of each and uh see how it cycles and uh, fires and safely most of all well this is a uh, i don't know if you see the cardboard box but 25 yards roughly 20 25 i don't know somewhere around the uh, range but i got the uh first round chambered um it is currently on safe um gotta kind of like flip it over carefully air trigger on these things now Kind of point it down range, look a little away. First round. Yeah, apparently not enough with a 3.7 to uh, cycle properly. Um, just hopefully that's just because it's a light charge and uh, not a magazine issue. But this is the first time ever firing one of these. And let's go from there. Go back here with a Nambu. Um, I cleared that stove pipe and I got two rounds of 3.8 grain charge, chambered, ready to go, I'm safe. Uh, I tried finding that brass that fell down some reason. My eyesight just got really bad or the grass is really tall, expensive brass and pretty hard to find, but I guess you win some and lose some. Okay, let's try this again here. Uh, let's flip it back on fire. And again, 20, 25 yard-ish, somewhere around there. Let's try if it's, fires well i know it'll fire but see if it successfully cycles the next round and it did not but i did notice that round was a little bit more peppier than the last um i just hope maybe uh uh don't know if maybe the grease i put on is a little too thick maybe i'll just uh, try to put some gun oil on instead of axle grease which they used back then in the in the old days with these um all right i go see if i can find that brass well once again i could not find that brass oh usually i can find them but whatever again win some and lose some um that shot seemed to be in the same spot i don't know if it can be seen first shot was on the bottom second one is a little bit up to the left and the right there, let me set here. Again, 20, 25 yard-ish. Uh, I got two rounds of the uh, 3.8 and two rounds underneath those of the four grain. Um, oh, there's a little bit of a obstruction right there, a little bit of dirt, finicky guns. Um, I coated it with some uh, light gun grease or gun oil. Um, let's get this back on the fire position, finger off the trigger. Rule number one. Um, all right, let's try it again. See if it's uh, uh, gonna fail again. And it did. And uh, I don't think it's uh, a uh, obviously an uh, extraction failure. I think it may be something to do with the magazine. Um, that's a big issue because magazines are pretty hard to find and expensive so it's ejecting just fine shooting just fine rounds are in the same spot that the, the third round here the, the gun is obviously jammed um third round is uh pretty much right next to the first one um so the grouping ain't bad but i'm not really aiming or trying to, to aim for accuracy right now. I'm just aiming at the box in the middle. Uh, until I can get the gun to function um, perfectly, as intended, where it can cycle every round, and that's when I'll worry about firing for accuracy. And, uh, oh, I see uh, that last brass I shot right there. Nice and warm. I found one. So uh, it seems to be these casings, they just drop right straight down from when fired so maybe the uh the other two are somewhere around here but uh 
let's try one more here um let's try to just toss that right down there and see if i can clear this up using a phone so already round chambered just had to uh pull it back this is another 3.8 so let's try it again and yet again same thing um yeah right there there's another blast right there put that it's going right straight now i like saving those because like i said they're expensive and hard to find and uh those are original head stamped or real head stamped nambu brass um they're not reformed from other casings which i would probably have to do eventually but uh, okay, let's see if we can clear this up and try it again with these four four grain ones here. I'll pop the magazine out and put this in. So I know I know the gun fires, so I don't need to pop it in there one round at a time. It's just I want the cycle as intended, and it goes into full battery as it should. So the gun is working fine. And it cycled with the uh, with the four four grain one. Um, it went a full battery. I don't know if it chambered one or not, but let's find out. And it did. It absolutely did. So I think the four grain one is the uh, the magic number, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's. I uh, only found one of those. Um, he wins some and lose some. But uh, I'll come back up here and check after. Let's load back up with, uh, see if I got a couple more of those and see if it functions correctly. All right, back at the same spot here. Um, gun is chambered and uh, on safety. Um, something funny just happened when I uh, chambered a gun. I couldn't get it on camera, obviously, but a little extractor piece on top kind of like slid out a little bit, but I popped it back in place. So hopefully that is fine. Uh, by the way, there was uh, the bullets I am shooting, they're, they're 100 grain in weight. Um, and this firearm, when I got it, it looked like it was uh, barely ever shot. And um, everything is really clean, matching on it. And uh, maybe that could be possibly some issue. Oh, by the way, uh, for Japanese firearms enthusiasts, it is dated the 8th month of the uh, 18th year of um, Emperor Hirohito which is uh, the 8th uh, month, 1943. Um, the gun is in really fantastic condition for its age. And like I said, it looked like it was hardly ever used. Um, okay, so let's uh, try these uh, three rounds of um, four grand charge. I got six total left. But uh, let's see if these three function as it should. No failure to extract and it fed correctly that casing went somewhere down there i'll find it after let's shoot these two rounds in a row uh oh oh look at that treated guard came out now let's try to fix that slight hiccup three chambered back and uh two rounds left let's see if it uh goes bang and um uh, failure to feed and a little extraction bar kind of slid out. So uh, I need to diagnose what that problem is. I, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. Let's see if, uh, yeah. Oh boy. So back up here at the truck. Uh, you see it, that little extractor up there is causing issues when I was trying to clear up that jam. And uh, it seems to be a little loose. It popped out on me. Trying to do this all with one hand. You got a bipod, so or a tripod, whatever people use nowadays. Um, let's see if I can get up. It. It's a little loose in there. It's very, it's very loose, and it popped out on me. And I don't want to fire it anymore without uh, figuring out what's going on with that, just because of uh, the scarcity and parts in these. And um, I definitely do want to shoot it more and. It was kind of enjoyable, even though a little bit of a stressful test, but it's quite the experience shooting something that, you know, not very many people have and not very many people have ammo for. And, um, 
well, I want to get to the point where I get some abundance of ammo made for it. So on these days where, you know, I get someone out to shoot a piece of history and make sure it functions safely for everybody. Um, so that's that. I'm going to try and get that figured out. Magazine. And it's one of those uh, late war flimsy cheap steel ones. Um, I kind of would like to get my hands on uh on uh oh got a little metal sliver those are always fun um i like to get my hands on a uh a better quality one if i can uh and see if maybe there's a, a magazine issue but i don't i'm not 100 percent sure but uh i've have heard of some people have issues with these late war magazines some issues not everybody having issues with them but I guess it's a, I have to try it again some other time. And uh, when I got more time to figure it out and want to have more tools on me right now, I don't got anything on me to, to really work with anything. I just came out here to test fire some, some new loads and uh, see which recipe works the best. And so far, I think it's the, uh, the four grain one here. That, that may be the magic number. Um... Maybe the three eights would work if I had a better magazine or whatever issue it's having. Uh, but yeah, we'll go from there. And so far I was only able to pick up five casings, which I believe we shot, or I should say I shot. Uh, maybe seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Eight rounds I've shot. I'm only able to pick up five cases, but I'll come back out here and try and find them again before the lawn gets mowed.